Well, this very well may be the last time that you're joining us here on First Pitch, but we're still going to find out how the heck we're betting this game. Maybe the D-backs have a little rally in them. We'll find out what our experts think about that. A little early morning edition here for you. And joining me, I got Brian Leonard and Tokyo Brandon. So I wonder if we're going to get a pitcher prop uh, from our man Tokyo Brandon before the year is done. But guys, um, I mean, I, I this series was kind of thought of as maybe a little bit of a pick em series. The fact that we're seeing three to one and the potential gentleman sweep in coming for Texas, I didn't see that one coming. And this game is a pick em through and through. Consensus on the live odds screen has them at 110. You can shop around, find better prices on either side that you want for this one. The total pretty much painted eight and a half across the screen. So guys, I say we get right into it because um, why not? The the Rangers wasted no time trying to end this series. So why don't we get right into talking about these games and Brian, I'm going to start with you. You think there might be one last gasping effort here from the D backs. They got gallon on the mound. He's going to oppose Eovaldi. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're putting out the, the arms that could potentially keep the series alive or end the series. I'm wondering how you're looking to bet this one. You're looking towards maybe a total and don't care who's winning the game. You just want some runs. What do you think? Yeah, it's a little disappointing here for Arizona. Uh, I was excited for them living here in Las Vegas. Uh-huh. That's our closest major league team. And I rode off Arizona when they backed into the playoffs. Um, I believe they lost four straight and uh, were able to make it. I thought they were done. I, I thought they were just happy to be there. And I was wrong. Arizona has really impressed me. This is a team that I like the young players on this team. I think they're a year early, but they've got a lot of really good players. They've even got good guys in the minors that didn't make the team this year. So this is an Arizona team that I wouldn't hold it against them to make this a series once again. Um, losing that first game in extra innings was a killer. If they just win that one, this is even, and, you know, they got plenty of time. But when you fall behind 10 to nothing, 10 to 1, like they did in the, the last game they played, it's tough to come back from that, at least, at least knowing this could be your last game. It was good to see Arizona filling up the ballpark last night. Um, it was amazing to me or in their earlier games that they just didn't get the fans just didn't come out, even though they were in the playoffs. Well, now they finally come out and uh, they may only be able to see one more game. Yesterday was a bullpen game. Both teams used their bullpen all the way through. Um, Arizona had one of their key guys pitch like two pitches. So he was in there for just a slight time. Uh, and uh, Texas used a couple guys for just a few limited amount of pitches to close it out. So even though a lot of pitchers were used yesterday, it was mostly the guys that hadn't pitched in the World Series as of yet or guys in the back of the bullpen. So even though it was a high scoring game, obviously um, we're going to get two starters here uh, and the full bullpens from the expected value point, the good guys in the bullpen should be starting here, uh, should be available. So that's something to keep in effect here. I kind of like the under here because I just think both teams are going to be going, especially Arizona, doing everything they can to pull it out. My only concern right now is Zach Gallen has really struggled as of late uh, in, in the playoffs. He was excellent all season long, but the, the innings limit and all of his innings he's put in this year are really starting to come back and, and uh, bite him. If Arizona could get five full innings out of Gallen, I like their chances here, but I'd prefer the under in this game. Um, Mm. Ivaldi's been terrific all season long, although he too has struggled a little bit as of late. But um, I like the under here. I think eight and a half is a fair number. That's the way I'm going to play it. Um, Unfortunately, not on the Arizona side in the game because you just don't know when you've got a team that's got to win three straight games if they have the same effort here. I would expect them to come out with a good effort, but I don't want any part of the side. I'll take the under here, under the eight. Looking under the eight, the interesting thing to me is even when you have games like last night that just exploded with runs and that under never even had a chance, every single game this series for you know some betters that like doing that, yes, run first inning, no run first inning. We haven't seen a first inning run. So is, is tonight the night when it finally happens? Uh, we'll see. With these two pitchers on the mound, I tend to think not. 
So uh, we'll see what ends up happening in that one. But the Nerfy better has been cashing with regularity this series. That's for sure. That's Brian Leonard. Check him out over at wagertalk.com, wt.buzz slash bl. Get your NHL picks, college football, NFL. He covers all of them, and you can grab access through the end of the year with a great deal locked and loaded over at Wager Talk. All right, Brandon, I want to get your thoughts on this. Are, are you have to have a pitcher prop for us, right? I mean, you're the pitcher prop guy. Every time that we come on here, you got a prop for us. Is that what you're doing? Or are you going a little more traditional here for the uh, the final edition that we uh, that we may have? Yeah, I am not doing a pitcher prop. Actually, pitcher what? props have been horrible. In Robert, cut his mic. Horrible. Get him <laughs> out of here. We want the pitcher prop. No, I'm I'll just cut it. <laughs> uh, pitcher props have been terrible in the playoffs. And the reason yeah. being is because, uh, you know, it's do or die when you get in the playoffs. And managers uh, kind of are a little more desperate when we get to the playoffs. Uh, very unpredictable on uh, outs recorded and uh, strikeout props. Very difficult in the playoffs. So I'm laying off those uh, as of now. Uh, I agree with Brian on a lot of points. Uh, when the Diamondbacks made the playoffs, I was also one of those people who said they do not belong. I I even still now think the Diamondbacks are not a playoff caliber team. However, they've gotten this far, and Zach Gallen is a top 10 major league pitcher. Uh, Nathan Eovaldi, I haven't liked him since he was with the Red Sox, um, but he's been pitching great this year so far. So what happens when a team has their back against the wall? Well, let's look at the scenario. Uh, Diamondbacks, they're in, a, they're in a pitcher park tonight. They got their best pitcher on the mound. If they're going to win another game, it's going to be tonight. The bullpen, actually, in my opinion, is in the Diamondbacks' uh, advantage. But the bullpen's been letting them down throughout this whole series. Uh, which is surprising to me. I thought Texas would be the team that would have their bullpen be letting them down, but they're not. Uh, the Diamondbacks bullpen has been letting them down. I'm going to approach this game. I think the Diamondbacks are going to come out and maybe not explode, but I think if they can get one or two runs in the first five innings off Ivaldi, uh, I think they can win the first five innings. So I'm going with the Diamondbacks on the money line in the first five in this one. Gallon is a great pitcher. He has great stats against Texas. His last outing against them, uh, he went uh, four innings and gave up three, or he gave, went three innings and gave up four, one or the other. It wasn't a good outing for him, uh, but I expect him to have a good outing here. And uh, I expect the Diamondbacks to at least be able to get one or two runs. They were just putrid yesterday. Uh, but as we know, most people watching this have been watching baseball for years and years and you know one team one day they do one thing and the next day it's the complete opposite i expect the complete opposite today um i don't expect a 10 nothing win by the diamondbacks but i do expect them to jump out to a small lead and i expect gallon to at least be able to hold it for five innings so in this game i'm going with the diamondbacks in the first five i also agree with brian about arizona fans so i'm I was raised in Phoenix, Arizona, and I mm. can tell you that Arizona fans are horrible. Uh, and anyone from Arizona will agree with me. We're we're very fair weather fans. Uh, there's plenty. There's lots of sun. There's plenty to do in Arizona. Uh, so that's why you don't see a lot of uh, people in the stands. Uh, actually, when I was in high school, the Cardinals came over to Phoenix, and uh, my family had season tickets, but. Arizona fans are just very fair weather because we haven't really had our own team for a long time, uh, except for the Phoenix Suns. So uh, I agree with Brian that the Arizona fans just aren't there. Uh, but I do think uh, the pitching, starting pitching advantage uh, and the backs against the wall edge here will favor the Diamondbacks in the first five. So I'm going to take the Diamondbacks in the first five. If you can get the first five plus uh, 0.5 runs, uh, maybe take that but the first five i think was minus 110 on the money line uh i'm gonna roll with that for a small play uh, but these playoffs have been very unpredictable and very tough to uh to cap so uh make it a small play make it a small play that's my advice yeah i I think I think one of the worst things going against the Diamondbacks is uh, is is that they have to play at home. I I mean what the, <laughs> the what the Rangers have done on the road ten and zero in these playoffs, 
if they end up completing the sweep here yeah. tonight with Eovaldi, I, I mean, Bri, you, 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 you know, you much like me, you know, you love watching the day in the day out, but historical things like that, just make your eyes pop out. And in a sport like baseball, when you think about having to know your home park as a hitter, and also the, the advantages that you get afforded being at your home ballpark. I think what the Phils did, um, what this Rangers team do is, is one of the more impressive things that I've seen in postseason sports across all sports. Would you agree with that, Bri? I agree with that. And, uh, yeah, I've been to that stadium uh, a few times. I was actually had the opportunity because of my gambling here in Laughlin. Uh, to be able to get on the field and watch batting practice and the whole bit. And that was a lot of fun. But, yeah, they just haven't been able to bring in the uh, bring in the fans. And it's very similar to, you know, down in Miami and Tampa Bay. And to some respect, maybe here in Vegas when we get a team, there's so many other things to do. The weather's so good. And everybody's transplants. You know, this is the middle of the desert. Uh, Nevada and Arizona, pe people just don't uh, – most of the people there are all retirees who live somewhere else and just move there for the weather. Mm -hmm. And those people are Cubs fans, Yankees fans, whatever. And that's the problem you have when you have teams in Florida and Arizona. They are fans of their original teams. And yep. maybe the Diamondbacks are their second favorite team. And that's what you get from <laughs> uh, older fans going into the uh, southern, southern states there. So we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, they've had a great season regardless. And uh, neither yep. one of these teams, after uh, the, the ground injury, I don't think either anybody thought that either one of these teams were going to the World Series. So best of luck to both of them. They've had great seasons, and it's been a lot of fun watching them. Yeah, and let's be real. The Diamondbacks are just the next in the line of this machine that is the Rangers on the road. Brandon, I mean, you handicap every yeah. single baseball league that there is. If you could bet on T-ball, I'm sure you'd find a way to find an edge on that, that sport. So – uh, for you, I mean, 10 straight, can they make it 11 straight on the road? You know, I'm not going to force you to pick a side here, but uh, man, it has just been extremely impressive. Once the playoff switch hit that the Rangers, they just have no fear, no matter what ballpark they're going in. Very true. And the good thing is for me that if the World Series ends today, uh, I still have Japanese baseball and Korean baseball because those Korean baseball, the the Korean World Series or the Korea Series hasn't even started yet. They're still in the playoffs. Mm. And the Japan Series is in game uh, game four. Just got tied two to two about an hour ago, and I had Hanshin. Uh, so uh, my subscribers got a, got a win with that one. So fortunately, even if the World Series ends today, uh, I still have baseball to cap. <laughs> but regarding the 10-0, and 0, uh, I'm I'm more of a stats guy than I am like uh -huh. a uh, what's what's the word a situation capper. I'm more of a, a st statistical capper, and so I treat pretty much every game as a as a single event. So uh, you know, winning eleven in a row. I mean, today's game has nothing to do with yesterday's game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these guys are human beings. Uh, there are some feelings from yesterday. Uh, leftover oh we got crushed we got to come out today our backs are against the wall there is a little bit of that feeling uh because these guys are human as i know because i knew a lot of them when i was a when i was a scout but uh, -huh. uh i treat it more like a data analysis thing and yeah any team can win 11 in a row uh, the thing about arizona though it's it's a pitcher's park pretty low score so anytime you get low scores it 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 should favor the worst team uh, or the uh, the weak bat team, which is Arizona in this case. Uh, the Rangers are absolutely on fire. I mean, Seager and them, they're just crushing it. However, the Rangers do have uh, – Garcia is out. Uh, yep. they, they have some uh, they have some injuries. So, uh, hey, I think the Diamondbacks, with their backs against the wall, I think they can stop the Rangers. The bullpen, though, is just really surprisingly bad in this series. Yep. So I'm going to go first five for my for my bet. But yeah, anything can happen. The bullpen can blow up again. Uh, the Rangers bullpen, in my opinion, is less reliable. But uh, they've been st they've been sticking it to the Diamondbacks so far in this series. So yeah, anything's possible. Anything's possible. I think the park though is in the Diamondbacks' favor. Yeah, and that's uh, that's where I come in. You know, you, the the pros, you guys are like, I don't care about a ten and O trend. It's you know, it's it's fun to talk about. It's fodder, but that's where I come in. The Joe is like, it's pretty damn sweet though that they've won ten straight on the road. Yeah. So 
under under eight and a half for Brian. I know he's hoping for a low scoring game that Brandon was talking about, not another 10 seven explosion. Brandon's looking for the D backs in the first five. And since it may very well be the last show, I'll be the sacrificial lamb going with the no run first inning again. So a little, uh, a little best bet from the Joe host. Here. You're the prop guy. Not Joe Ranieri. No, Dan Alexander holding down the fort. Big thanks to Brandon Seifkin, our man, Tokyo, Brandon and Brian Leonard. If this is indeed our last show, a huge thanks to everybody who's, who's tuned in, helped us grow the show. We love hearing you in the comments. So comment below what you're betting. If it is the final time, we definitely want to hear from you down there in the comments. Make sure you hit like and subscribe because just because first pitch might be coming to a close, that doesn't mean we don't have great content around the clock here at Wager Talk TV. As a matter of fact, click that video on your screen right now to get all the all the tools you need betting all the sports you love. It's always just a click away here at Wager Talk TV. Best of luck, and maybe we'll talk with you Friday. If not, thanks for tuning in every single day here on First Pitch. <laughs>